Salimu sale ya funga biza government yo na ba prime minister ba vice president ba mufuna mira. Well, those are some of uh, the words said by the Lord Mayor Elias Lukwago that have sparked the talk between himself and uh, General Salim Saleh, the coordinator of uh, the Operation Wealth Creation on social media and also in the mainstream media. Now, the State Minister of Kampala and uh, Metropolitan Affairs, Kabuye Chofato Gabie, at the media center yesterday, demanded for Lukwago's apology of his further consequences. If matters will escalate, and if the Lord Mayor will fail to do what he asked him to do, then he will tell us what kind of political support, I mean the support, but the support is political. So that means perhaps the Lord Mayor had political issues, and the general came in to solve the minister who claimed to be speaking for General Salim Saleh also made other several demands. Now I also want to urge you and call upon the media fraternity to start blacklisting Lord Mayor Lukwago until he apologizes to new vision. Because you can't sue somebody who's just carrying a message. Why don't you go and sue the author of the message? Now, Dr. Kiza Besije, the president of the Red Card Movement, in a talk show yesterday said that there are indeed moles in the opposition, but pointing fingers at the Lord Mayor, Elias Lukwago, as one of them is unfortunate because he's been on the front line fighting President Museveni's government since day one and uh, he has never turned back. Let him release. In fact, General Saleh has not said anything. He's just uh, masquerading. Why doesn't he say, I gave you money, I gave you this kind of support? Why doesn't he say what he gave him? So we have indeed morals. There is no doubt about that. There are many morals within the opposition. But the distinction between a more and none more is not what they say, it is what they do. Lord Mayor Kwago has been on the front line fighting the Jews practically every day almost of his life they tried to impeach him he defeated them they have fought him with all the vigor and means they can to get him out of office in Kampala in elections they have failed so it is not that we say Lukwago is not a more because he has said he's not a more we believe he is not a more because of what he does now, the former leader of opposition in parliament and a former woman member of parliament from Mukasese district, Horebo Winichiza, said that all this is blackmail organized by people in President Museveni's government. However, she also said that there is fire in the first family if indeed Geno Saleh can support someone from the opposition working tirelessly to remove their government. Now I'm looking at it as black men. Even when we are in the opposition, we have friends and relatives who are in the NRM. When you have a friend, you should know that that friend for better and for worse, you will stand by the friend. So if Saleh was supporting Lukwago as a friend and Lukwago is backstabbing him, let him know that the friendship is over. So there is no reason for him to say if you don't apologize because their friendship was not made public. The other issue is the issue that we've been talking about, that there is fire in the big house. If Saleh can support members of the opposition against his own brother's party, actually against his own party, it means he knows that their party can no longer offer something interesting for Ugandans. And he's also looking for an alternative. He only doesn't know how he gets this alternative. By supporting opposition politicians, he's like, brothers, come and assist me. We are also burning here, but we don't know who is taking away the fire from us. And to that, I will tell him, continue supporting. Because we are all coming to say, help us and lift your brother out of state house and put a relevant group because he has now told us that he's ready to support. Horrible Joel Senyonyi, the spokesperson of NUP, said this is President Museveni's trick to disorganize the opposition like they have always done and furthermore said it doesn't matter who crosses over to work with President Museveni's government because that doesn't take away the big issues affecting Ugandans. You see, it is um, one of those old modus operandi um, of how to try and destabilize those who are coming after you. Throw them into disarray, cause them to mistrust each other. 
And it's not the first time. I mean, people used to tell me, ha, but now, senyonyi. This Chagulanyi have joined, he's really a project of the state. Are you sure you can trust this man? Then they would also tell Chagulanyi, ha, this senyonyi, ha, surely you cannot trust him. Why? Because they want me to mistrust him, so I cannot work well with him. They want him to mistrust me. And once that happens, even our discussions become very shallow. We cannot discuss very deep things because you're thinking, this guy, they told me he works for the other people. And that works for them. Uh, Dr. Chris Bariomusi, the Minister of ICT and uh, National Guide, said he has no doubt in whatever that's being said about the Lord Mayor at Yasulukwago because we don't really have serious opposition in Uganda and he also questioned that why would Jeno Salim Saleh single out the Lord Mayor at Yasulukwago of all people in the opposition? That means there's something fishy going on between the two. The first question you would ask, is there a serious opposition in Uganda? My answer would be no. Most of these people are just transactional leaders. They may be strong, serious opposition leaders on these talk shows. They talk as if they are patriotic. But if we to reveal what happens behind these studios, many of them are not serious. I have not personally talked to General Saleh, but I have no reason not to believe that General Kwago could be working with him or could have received support from General Sare. Because the question would be, why did General Sare single out the road mayor, not Senyonyi, not our queen from Kasese? And there are many of those opposition leaders who say this during the day and at the night they are different. That's why I don't take many of them very serious. Yes, so basically that is it and uh, this discussion is still going on both on social media and in the mainstream media. But what I'm sure about is that uh, the Lord Mayor Elias Lukwago is going to sue the New Vision newspaper and uh, I'll keep you posted on this matter in case anything comes up. This is the Buzz UG and uh, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo aka Fula and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.